In this video, you will learn where to find evaluations, how to perform an evaluation, and how the evaluation can be sent to agents for approval or even rejected by an agent stating that they are uncertain about the evaluator's assessment. To navigate to evaluations, in the admin portal, click on Tools, Evaluator. This will take you to the Evaluations tab in the Evaluator. At the top of the page, there are several filter options that are available if you need to refine the number of evaluations displayed. As seen in the Statuses filter, there are a number of statuses that an evaluation can be in. These are the statuses and what they stand for. In Progress, this means that the evaluator is still working on the evaluation and has yet to send it out to an agent. Completed. The evaluator has marked the evaluation complete. Notified agent. The evaluation has been sent to the agent for review. Agent acknowledged. The agent has received and acknowledged the receipt of the evaluation. Agent rejected. The agent has received and acknowledged the receipt of the evaluation but has a disagreement with the outcome. You can also filter by the template used for the evaluation and or the schedule if one is created. If you are searching for an older evaluation that has been archived, checking this box will allow you to do so. The table lists evaluations by the evaluator who performed the evaluation, the agent that was evaluated, the type of interaction, recording date, the duration of the interaction, schedule if any, the template used, the last update made to the evaluation, the current score on the evaluation, the status, whether it has been read by the agent, and whether it has been acknowledged, not acknowledged, or rejected. The next options will depend on the condition of the evaluation. If an evaluation was started but never completed, you can either continue the evaluation or delete it. If you completed the evaluation but have not sent it to the agent for review, you can either view or restart the evaluation. Once you notify the agent, you can only view the evaluation. If the agent reads the evaluation but has yet to acknowledge, you can see the is read changes to yes. When they acknowledge it, the NA will change to accept it. You then have the option to not only view the evaluation, but you can archive it as well. If the agent chooses to acknowledge the evaluation, but disagrees with the assessment, you will see Rejected in the Acknowledge Status column. It could be archived at this point, or you could view the evaluation by clicking View and take a look at the reason why the agent rejected the evaluation. You could then choose to listen to the recording again to see if you perhaps missed some details and agree with the agent. Performing evaluations can be done in one of two ways. If an admin has set up a schedule for evaluations and you are part of the evaluations team, you will receive an email according to the schedule that contains the links to perform evaluations. Secondly, you can perform evaluations on your own by navigating in the admin portal to Analysis, Recordings, and then selecting the recordings type, Voice or Chat. Only voice and chat recordings can be evaluated this way. From here, select the parameters to search for specific recordings and then select Evaluate next to the recordings that you would like to evaluate. This will take you to the evaluation screen with the agent's name, the date of the recording, the type of recording, and the duration pre-populated. Select the evaluation template created by an admin that you are going to use and select Start. Once you start the evaluation, you will see some new fields populate. Most importantly, the ability to play the recording. If this is a chat recording, you will have the ability to view the transcript. Continue through the evaluation answering all of the categories. If comments are enabled by the evaluation creator, you can leave comments in each category. Notice the styles of questions that can be answered. Yes or no questions. Scale questions where you enter a response by range, low being the worst and high being the best. Single answer where you can choose from multiple choices. And multi-selection where two or more selections can be chosen. 
Additionally, the creator could add to any category the ability to auto-fail the evaluated interaction due to poor execution for this category. Once the evaluation is complete, select Complete from the bottom or top of the page. After clicking Complete, you will be presented with some additional options. You can restart the evaluation if you feel it was done in error, or you can proceed to notify the agent. The evaluation will be sent to the agent's email on file where they can review the evaluation and acknowledge the fact. When an agent reviews the evaluation, they have the option to accept or reject the results and even leave notes. The evaluation will appear on the list of evaluations as either rejected or accepted and can be viewed from here. The Is Read column will display yes if the agent has looked at the evaluation but has not accepted or rejected it. You should now understand how and where you can evaluate interactions and engage. Thank you for watching. Orchestrating a Brighter World, NEC.